Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Market Martians. If you're new here, my name is Austin. Today, we're going to be covering ticker symbol XCLA, also known as XLA Technologies. If you're new here, please uh, like and subscribe this video. I put out, uh, try to put a new video, you know, a couple each week or so. Uh, just depends how busy I am. I try to be as active as possible. Uh, we also have a Discord for Market Martians, so I'll put that in the description down below. Uh, free to join, and we also offer some memberships as well. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm going to give you guys my opinion on XCLA, XLA Technologies. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, currently, we're trading at around $3.65, guys. Um, and I have this that we need to really hold here. I think, um, you know, overall bullish, we obviously have to hold this level right here at $3.20. Otherwise, the chart could really break down and we could come down here to around um, $2.60, which would be brutal for us. Um, uh, I did alert this is a day trade and it worked out well. It hit 380 and then it ramped to four, $4. Um, there is a lot of resistance up here on this $4 mark. That's why I have us need to break out of 405. So let's go over the chart. What I see happening in the next couple of days. So obviously, uh, the S and P, you know, market conditions overall have been uh, very bearish and, uh, you know, we're in a bearish trend right now, but, um, that doesn't mean that all stocks are going to be red. There's going to be plenty of opportunity for buys and, um, you know, quick scalps and so on. Um, what I'm seeing for what our game plan should be for excellent technologies, if you're going to swing this, uh, this needs to hold above 365. If this doesn't close at 365, I'm not holding this over the weekend. That would be very dumb. I think that that's a silly mistake because there's a big gap here. We could get on a 320 and then further. So if you're swing trading this, you're buying at around $3.65 or higher. Um, I would prefer 365 as a good bet to swing. Nothing lower and nothing <clears throat> too, too higher. Um, I really think that the 405 breakout is needed uh, for us to, you know, to really come back up here to this $5 mark. I still think the stock could be $6, and this is more of a healthy pullback because this chart's really not not too bad. Uh, we've been having some nice stair steps up, obviously, and it's it's the chart's overall bullish, especially in the monthly. Um, I think that some things to look out for is uh, a break of $4.30 after 405. And then ultimately, if we want to talk about our $6 goal, uh, we need to break this resistance up here around 510. So keep an eye on that because when that day comes, I will be definitely doing a day trade alert on that uh, if once it breaks $5.10. But we have a while to go till we get there again. Um, I think this is still being traded very heavily, lots of volume, so that's very good for us. Um, but yeah. Just keep an eye out for XCLA to break this 405 mark again, and then you're going to hop in for a day trade, hop out around 420 hot or higher, and make sure you set your stop loss around $3.90. And uh, make sure you look at these two levels. Like I said, um, need, I would like it to hold $3.65, and then it has to absolutely hold $3.20. Otherwise, this will be off my watch list for some time because I believe it will come down to here this that's the support a couple times at two dollars and sixty cents so if you like this video please drop a like and subscribe we're getting close to 300 subs and make sure to check out the discord it's free to join it does not hurt you by joining at all so have a good day everybody um, i'm going to be trying to post a couple videos today and i'll be uh I'll be on vacation next week but i should still be able to post the um audio quality quality might just be a little worse